What is up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the next decade. Welcome to 2020. Happy freaking new year. I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are blessed. And I hope you guys are focused for this next year, um, this next decade. I hope you're focused um, and have everything you can possibly have to really succeed beyond your wildest dreams in this next year. Um, what I wanted to cover real quick, you guys, was basically how I got my first 1,000 YouTube subscribers and how you can do the same exact thing. Um, I for sure didn't do anything fancy. I for sure did not do anything special. Um, if anything, in 2019, I just started being more consistent. That's all it was, is I started being more consistent. I started um, adding a few more things to my, to my uploading, the tags, for example, the description. Um, I downloaded a, a couple of different uh, plugins that kind of gave me some good insight and good tips. But to tell you the truth, I didn't, I didn't really follow them and I don't really follow them. Maybe I should. Maybe, maybe my channel would be 10 times further than where it is now um, if I did pay attention to more of the analytics. But I just knew at the end of the day, it was going to be all about content. The person that could put out the most content normally wins. And that's kind of how I approached my YouTube in 2019. Um, and kind of just took it to the next level because it started in 2017. It all started in, in July of I, June or July in 2017. We'll look at the numbers right now, but it happened in, in, in the middle of 2017 when I just started putting up videos, nothing special, simple videos shot for my cell phone. I wasn't doing tutorials really like this. Um, in fact, I think I started to, but it really kind of started a lot of it came from my cell phone and just doing vlogs and talking about business, but nothing fancy at all. Um, at all at all um and 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 that's kind of where it started and and as i started to kind of get some type of little little tiny momentum i started taking it a little bit more seriously and then as i started looking at other youtube channels and what my mentors were doing and how they were building one and then i started looking at incomes and i'm like damn dude i can if all i gotta do is be more consistent and and put up content via video on stuff that i'm already doing then that shouldn't be hard. And, 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 and all of 2018 went by when I'm just kind of still playing around with it. And it wasn't until 2019 when I really took it seriously. And I really started putting up more content and staying focused on my niche and staying focused on the actual topics that I was talking about. Um, and that's when I started to really get some momentum. That's when I broke the 1000 mark um, as far as subscribers. And then that's when I got monetized and getting monetized means you can start making money from your channel. So it wasn't until 2019 um, when I, when I hit a thousand subscribers and then I surpassed that and then I became monetized and started seeing some little YouTube money. That's when I got super fired up and I'm like, dude, this can't be that hard. Um, and, and that's what I'm here to kind of tell you guys today. It's not, it's not hard at all. Um, if you're building a business, you have a topic to talk about. Um, and even if you're not really building a business, whatever your passion is, yeah, forget about even building a business. For those of you that just have a passion and just have some type of knowledge or you have some type of skill or you have some type of talent, put it up. Um, true story with, regarding my neighbor. I have a neighbor. 18 years old, super talented when it comes to the guitar, Kivon. Shout out to my buddy Kivon. And and I'm telling this guy, I'm like, dude, do you understand all these all these little videos that you're making of you playing the guitar, rather than putting it on Instagram, on Instagram stories where it's gone in 24 hours, I'm like, dude, you need to start putting that on YouTube. Bottom line. And with all that content, you'll have you'll you'll be able to build a subscriber base super, super fast. And you'll start seeing us an extra income off from it all. And 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 he was blown away. And I, I still believe he doesn't believe what I'm saying. Um but I'm going to really put things in perspective and really show you how simple it really can be. And what fires me up is the extra income to, to talk about what you're already talking about or to talk about what you're already fired up about and simply park it over here versus all these other social media platforms. I'm telling you, man, once that check does start depositing, you'll get fired up too. And so what I'm going to really do is, is kind of keep it simple and keep it basic and, and kind of just show you what started happening on my channel um, where, my, where my subscribers really started increasing. And it didn't increase by much. I'm not even a huge YouTuber at all right now. My money is not even big at all. But I'm telling you, it's growing. It is growing. And I just truly believe, as I spoke about on previous videos, a few hundred a month will change anyone's life. 
I don't care who you are. It just will. And so I'm going to kind of just give you my insights and, and kind of give you some, some tips and strategies on what you can do in 2020 to start building a YouTube channel because that's where it begins. It begins by, first of all, it begins by wanting to do it. You got to want to do it. Um, secondly, you got to be consistent with it. And I'll tell you what exactly consistent means. Um, you got to have patience and you got to really be in it to win it because on your way to 1,000 subscribers, you're going to have to put out a ton of videos. Like, a ton, a ton, and, and, and maybe not hundreds, but for sure, at least a couple hundred. Like right now, I'm a little over 300. Actually, let's look at it right now. I think I'm at like 360 something as far as total videos that I've done since day one. Um, let's see, I think I'm at 360 something. And, and this new, um, um, format of YouTube. Like this is how YouTube looks now. This is the new one. I always go to creator studio classic. I like looking at the old school way. Now, now I know I'm going to have to get used to the new one, but until they remove this creator studio classic here at the bottom left, I'm going to keep using this because it just, it's, it's, it's easier for me to navigate and it shows it right there. Boom videos, 368. So I literally had up, I think I had up I think I had up over 300. I think I, that's the thing, man. You got to be in it to win it. Like, I think I put up over 300 videos before I even hit 1,000 subscribers. So it's like, who in their right mind would even do that? Like, what the hell? Like, who the hell is that freaking crazy to keep putting a video, keep putting a video, keep putting a video when you ain't getting no money from it and you're getting like seven people to view your videos? Who the hell would keep going? Don't ask me. I don't know how I did it. I don't know why I did it. It's not like I, I had this dream of building a YouTube income because I didn't. I'm not a YouTuber. Like, I didn't have that goal um, until recently, until I started seeing the damn money deposit. And I'm like, holy shit, like this extra few hundred goes a long ways. Like, it does. And so that's why now going into 2020, I am fired up. Like I'm here to take it to a hundred thousand subscribers. That is my goal in 2020 is to take it from where I'm at, which is a small amount, a little over, over 1400. So but no matter, depending on when you're watching this video, man, right now, January 1st, 2020, I'm at like 14, 14 freaking, let's go back to it. I'm at like 1460 as far as subscribers. Let's look at it again. 1460, not even a hundred thousand views yet. Okay. So again, you got to get to 1000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. So as you go into your analytics, you can look at how many hours you can look at how many minutes and you just do the math on how many hours you need 4,000 hours of your content being watched and 1000 subscribers. So I hit that towards the middle of 2019. And then that's when I started getting fired up because I was then, I was now monetized. And then, and then what you have to do is break the $100 threshold. They don't pay out the commission unless you hit at least a hundred dollars for the month in ad revenue. Um, and so there was one month and I'm going to show you, there was one month where I did not reach a hundred, a hundred dollars, but the following month I did, and it paid out the previous month and that month. So I got that first check, which was over, which was almost 300 bucks. And that's what fired me up. I'm like, holy shit, almost $300. Like, are you kidding me? That's what fired me up. That was in November of 2019. And then I got another check in December of 2019 and it was a little bigger. And then now I'm about to get another check this month, which is a little bigger. And so that's, what's so crazy about this man is that I'm getting paid on videos that I made literally a year ago two years ago, two and a half years ago, I'm getting paid out on these videos and, 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 and only God knows how long it's going to continue. Like I'm going to continue to rock with it. I'm going to keep continue to roll with it until the wheels fall off because uh, as I keep mentioning, man, when it comes to content and I got this from Gary Vaynerchuk, shout out to Gary V when it comes to content, don't try to create. None of us are really creators. Like we're not creators. Some of you guys are creative people, but most people that I know, they're not creative. I'm for sure not a creative type of person. What I would, what I would always learn from Gary Vee and what I picked up from Gary Vee is he would always preach 
forget about trying to create because when you try to create, it takes you forever to try to create. It takes you forever to think about different creative ideas. And, it, and, and, and before you know it, you're procrastinating and a week gone, gone by and you haven't put out shit because you're too busy trying to be creative and you're waiting for the right moment. That right moment's not going to happen. What Gary Vee would always talk about is you need a document. Simply document what you're doing. Document your day. Document your life. Document your business. Document document what you're what you're currently doing, and put that out as content. That 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 that's the biggest thing that Gary Vee continues to talk about is you have to document. And so that's what I really started doing from day one is I started documenting my business, like what I was thinking, what I was doing. And then, and then as I started getting into landing pages and more Facebook advertising, then I started documenting that and start, start, started doing tutorials on that. And it doesn't matter the topic. It, it, it really doesn't. But you got to stay on, on topic. You got to stay within a niche and you got to stay with, within topic. Um, and that's what you want to really get YouTube algorithm. The YouTube algorithm needs to know exactly what the hell you're talking about so it can go out there and find you the audience. So you can't talk about dancing on one video and then the next video you're, you're, you're teaching people how to bake cookies and then the next video you're, you're, you're teaching people how to run fast and then the next video you're teaching people how to do yoga. You can't have that kind of channel. What I'm, what I'm saying is you got to find your passion. Find your passion. Find what fires you up, whether it's your personal stuff and you just love doing yoga but you have a completely different business and life. And you want, and you're fired up about yoga. Start doing videos on yoga and uploading those. Or, or if it's like my neighbor, my neighbor, literally 18 years old, fired up. He works at a car wash. He's a full-time college student, but he just happens to be good at the guitar, and that's what he's putting content out on, right? And I'm just telling him, I'm saying, hey man, forget about putting them on all these other platforms. Put them on YouTube, so you can start building a subscriber base and start getting paid, right? So whether you're a business owner or or just fired up on something. Find out what that fired up is. Find out what that passion is and start documenting and putting content up around that and start building yourself an audience around that interest and that niche. That's how you're going to do it. And so as I started narrowing mine in, in, in well, actually, I, I, I truly believe mine has always been narrowed in. It's always been about entrepreneurship, online entrepreneurship, building some type of business. That's what I, what I started with in 2017, and that's what I continue to talk about. But now I do more tutorials like this, screen share. I'm showing you, you know, how to do certain shit, right? Um, and so that right there, I truly believe because I narrowed it in and, and, and really stayed on, on topic and on focus, topic, topics of social media marketing, online entrepreneurship, and everything that goes, goes on you know, around that, that's where YouTube was like, okay, this guy, we know what he's talking about. He keeps putting out the same videos on the same type of shit. We know exactly who the audience is for him. And that's when subscribers started coming my way. People started, you know, engaging in my content and my numbers started to increase from, you know, from, from, from 40 to 60 to 300 subscribers to 700 to 900. Now today at the, at the filming of this video, I'm at 1460, which is still nothing. And that's why I'm truly convinced that every single one of you guys can do this. And I'm truly convinced that a few extra hundred a month, forget about if you become a major million subscriber YouTuber, forget about all that. Would an extra 500 a month change your life? And especially if it was residual, and especially if it was around stuff that you're fired up about, you can be an accountant and you're an accountant from nine to five and you absolutely hate it, but you love freaking landscaping and you happen to be very very good at it and you know everything about a freaking lawnmower and a freaking weed whacker and tools and a garage because you got a nice little you know man cave garage and and it's all set up and that's your passion that's what i'm talking about man you don't have to build a business around it find out what the hell you're fired up on and start doing videos on that Teach people what you got going on. If you're a badass landscaper, other people want to be badass as well. You can start documenting and start doing little tutorials and start sharing your knowledge on what you're doing to be badass. And I'm telling you, man, your subscriber count will start to grow. An audience will start to form. YouTube will start sending you money. I'm telling you, man. And, 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 and 
I, I don't know, man. I'm lost for words to tell you the truth because you I hope I hope you guys can really tell how fired up I am on on this stuff. Um, because I know social media and I know social media marketing and I know what everyone's doing. They're throwing spaghetti against the wall on all these different platforms to see what sticks. And I'm telling you, man, it's going to take you a long ass time to see stuff stick. In the meantime, you might as well build something. You might as well build a channel and eventually monetize it. That's all I'm saying, man. Um, so not only will you be able to monetize it by YouTube ad revenue and YouTube ad money, um, but all the links in the description, you can lead people to a landing page. You can lead people to your Shopify store. You can lead people to your Amazon product, whatever the hell else you got going on around what you're trying to do. Um, if you're trying to build a business around, around it, right? You can lead people with the links in your, in your description. Look at everybody. Anyone that has a decent YouTube following, look in the description. Chances are they're getting you to buy something. They're probably an affiliate somewhere. They're probably, you know, selling some random product on Shopify and they're just getting started. But the fact is that it started with the YouTube channel and now they're able to put different links in the description to also profit even more. So, but just the YouTube ad money alone, I'm telling you, man, it is a journey. It is going to take some upfront work, but I know for a fact I know for a fact you guys can do it, and I know for a fact it can change your finances in 2020. So I'm going to show you some basic numbers, man, because to tell you, to tell you the truth, I still don't know how to work all the analytics with, with YouTube. I, I just don't, man. None of my videos are polished. None of them are highly edited at all. I still barely, barely know how to do a damn thumbnail. It's like, but I'm seeing this money start to come in, and I'm telling you, man, it's just it, – is just getting me more excited and motivating me even more to, to, to go all in and to encourage all my followers to do the same damn thing because I know you're fired up about something. I know you have a passion in something. I know you have a skill. I know you're knowledgeable about something. It may not be your daytime business. It may not be your daytime job, but I'm telling you, you have a hobby. You have a passion, and this is where you want to start putting it up. I'm telling you, man. Okay, so let me show you some simple, simple numbers. Let's look at the analytics of where I was at in, in 2017. This right here, this is the first video that I put up. It was June 18, and it was a video of me interviewing my mom. It was two minutes and 32 seconds. It ain't nothing. The next video, July, look at that, man. I go from June 18th to not putting up another video into Jul in, in, until July. July 10th. So you can already tell in 2017, let's look at the next video. The next video from July 10th to August 7th. That was my next video. Now, now after this first one of my son and my mom, right here in July of 2017, this is when I start getting fired up because June, July, August, September, it was in September, J July, August, September. So in July, of 2017 is when I start learning about social media marketing and how I can start building my own agency. And I start talking about it. Okay. August, I'm talking about it, but look at the gap in the date. I didn't put out another video until August 7th. August 8th is just a random video, two minutes and 39 seconds of me talking to my son. And then the next video doesn't go up until the 15th. And I'm talking about procrastination. Next video, August 18th, three days later, another one, the same damn day. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Next day, I put one up, the 19th, 23rd, and then I put two up on the 23rd. Like, I don't know what the hell I was doing. And then the 25th, and then not another one until September 7th, little short videos that I was filming on my cell phone, talking about business, right? Talking about where I was at mentally and, and what I was doing, talking about clients, um, because at that time I had just started my social media agency. Actually, I started in 2016. I started in 2016, but in 2016, I was selling website services. So I was hitting up the same niche, but I was selling them website design, right? And that started in 2016, December of 2016. I remember closing my first client, December of 2016, but it was in September of 2017 when I started offering them social media marketing services and Facebook advertising. That was in September of 2017. And even I dropped my first video on me closing a client. Let me see. Just yeah, right here, right here. Just launched right here, September 26th. The title is 
just launched my social media agency. That is a video. That is a video, you guys. September 26, 2017 of me closing my first client. I have the credit card. I'm processing the credit card on that on that video. You, I'm, I'm literally doing a walkthrough of me processing the credit card. And here's what's so funny. I'm going to keep it real, man. This is the honest to God truth. If you watch that video, you're going to think that I'm freaking which I am processing a credit card, but you're going to think that it's all fine and dandy. I ain't lying. I'm keeping it real with you guys. I got my first client pulled their credit card to, to do my, to do social media marketing services and Facebook advertising under my new company name, right? I had just launched mine September 26th. I get the first client. I'm recording a video. I'm processing the credit card and the damn credit card declines, but you couldn't tell that on the video, but I'm going to keep it real with you now because it's freaking hilarious. That credit card declined. I'll never forget that. That was my first credit card, um, and it declined. It, it declined. Now, it ended up um, approving a couple days later. The client had to go and deposit some damn money, but it declined on that freaking video. And it looks like I'm fired up, which I am, but the damn credit card declines. And then I don't do another one until September 30th. I'm just interviewing my son, talking about a book. Um, and then the next one doesn't go out till October 9th. So all of September, you guys, look, here are the numbers. From June, when I dropped that first video, to December 2017, I closed out that year, which is only six months. That's when I started my YouTube channel. I closed out that year with 41 subscribers. Are you kidding me, dude? And all of the videos were trash, all of them. Now, it was, I for sure started doing, like this one, screen share. Actually, that's not even a screen share. That's filmed on my damn cell phone. These are all cell phone. These are all cell phone. These are all cell phone. All cell phone. I didn't start doing screen share until, until like, shit, let me see. I didn't start doing screen share. So now we're into, into 2018. Here's 2017. Um, cell phone video, cell phone video, cell phone video. Look at that. All into 2017, October, November, November, December, all cell phone. I, I'm just all over the place. I'm talking about business, right? So I'm staying somewhat on topic, but they were all on my, on my cell phone. And that's when I first got my office um, here in San Diego. Now, I, now I'm, I'm crushing it from home. Again, in my previous video, man, how to cut expenses. You got to cut expenses. I just realized that an office was not necessary at all. I am literally building a laptop business. I'm building a laptop lifestyle type of business. And I, I, and I reduced every bullshit expense that, that was possibly eating up my wallet. And renting an office was for sure not needed. Um, but but that, that all started in 2017. Um, and that, that's where you see me in this office right here. And then for the next year into year and a half, I'm doing videos, um, from my office. Um, but, but mainly on cell phone, on cell phone, all this into 2018, here goes January. So now let's look at 2018. Let's look at the numbers, the analytics for 2018. So I go into 2018. Here's January 1st, 2018. Now let's go all the way to the end of the year. 31st, the 18th. Okay, so now all of 2018, I'm still putting up videos. I got 540 subscribers. A full year and a half has gone by, man. A full year and a half. 12 months plus the six months. And I got four hundred and I got five hundred and forty subscribers. Or shit, I don't know if it's five forty or six twenty five. It's one of those, but shit, either one of them, whatever. It it's still not much. Now, am I starting to get fired up at this point? Yeah, for sure. I'm. I got fired up when I first when I hit fifty subscribers. When I hit a hundred subscribers, three hundred subscribers, I was getting fired up. I'm like, holy shit, people are actually really listening to me. But I'm telling you, my videos were nothing crazy at all, at all, at all. Into March of 2018, I'm still doing videos on my cell phone. The majority of my videos were on my cell phone. And I'm going to keep it real. I got a ghetto-ass cell phone. It, to this day, I still don't even, I don't even have an iPhone. An iPhone is my dream phone, but I just can't – I, I, I still can't get the nerve to drop a G on it. 
Um, and, and, but I am 2020, I'm definitely coming with it. I'm, I'm going to go get a damn cell phone here soon. But I, at this point, I, I still don't to this day. And, um, all these videos were shot on an old ass Android, nothing special at all. All in the 2018, I'm just talking shit on my cell phone. 21st, 22nd, 24th, drop a video 28th. And another one, May 1st video of my son boxing again, kind of all over the place, right? Now, now I'm kind of all over the place. Um, and, and, and I just started putting out a lot of videos on motivation, but here's the fifth, here's the ninth, here's the 15th, right? And then the 18th, 22nd. And then, and then look, I go from May 22nd to June 8th before I drop another video. And it's a video on my cell phone, another video on my cell phone, nothing crazy at all. And then, so that's all of 2018. And I'm at, I'm at either 625 or I'm at 540. Actually, you know what? No, I got up to, here's what it is. It's 60, 665 or 625 minus the 85. That's what it is. And that's how you get 540. So 625, 85, 625, 625 minus 85. There's the 540. So that's what it meant. I got 625, but then 85 of you damn guys freaking ended up leaving me. And it's all good shit. Ain't nobody, I'm not going to keep everyone, right? Not going to keep everyone happy, but it is what it is. Get used to that part. That's not, I mean, that's, 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 that's normal. Just like as you start to build email lists, people will unsubscribe from your damn email list, right? Shit, don't matter who you are. The best of the best people unsubscribe every day. And so that comes with the territory. So that's, I don't care about that at all. Got up to 625 but then lost 85 and that's how I ended up the year at 540. Okay. And then it wasn't until 2019, it wasn't until 2019, but let's take 2019 slow because, um, I think that's super important as well. Let's go into 2019. Let's go into, let's start with January 1st and let's just take a look at the first six months of 20 of 2019. So, um, Let's go to June 1st. So January 19 to June 19. Let's look at how many subscribers I had then. Look at that, dude. Look at that. Um, actually, well, that's, that's – actually, you know what? I take that back. I take that back. Let's go back. I needed to do it from the beginning. So let's take this back to, the, to day one, June. Let's go June 27. June 1st, 2017 to June 2019. Look at this, man. Perfect freaking number. Look at this, man. Look at this. Two years. It took me two years. Two freaking years. Look at that. I hit 1,051 and then I lose 159. So in two years, 892. I did not even have 1,000 subscribers. I did not even become monetized. Two freaking years 24 months see the thing is man is that i didn't start learning youtube really until 2019 to to really put things in perspective not to really you know freaking sugarcoat it but it, but that's the truth i didn't know what the hell i was doing i still don't really um but i know a little bit i know how i i cracked a thousand i know i know exactly how the momentum started happening and that's what i'm going to share with you guys but i'm showing you guys these numbers because it is hard work. It did take the time. It did take the time. But I'm telling you, man, this is not a full-time income to begin with anyways. I'm telling you that you have some extra time within your day. No matter how busy you think you are, you have some extra time. And, and nowadays where we could just pull out our freaking cell phone, that's what I did for two damn years. Cell phone, talking shit, staying on topic on my cell phone, and then uploading the damn video. And then, and, and, and again, not even knowing exactly how to upload it the right way. And so I'm telling you, if I can do that, and it took me two damn years when I know you guys can do it this year, what I'm going to show you right now is simple stuff. What I'm going to show you, what took me two years, I know for a fact that you guys can get there this year. 2020, you guys can get, you guys can freaking quadruple my numbers, man. You guys can 10X these damn numbers. This year alone, if you take me seriously, if you take this word and if you take this advice seriously, you guys can freaking 10x my number. But look at that, dude. Look at that. Two years, man. Two years. 
And I didn't even crack the 1,000, a legit 1,000. I got there, and then I lost them. 892 is what I finished at, okay? And then we take it up. We take it up. Let's see. Let's see. I ended up cracking 1,000 comfortably and then, and then getting monetized because at the same time I – actually, you know what? When I did hit 1,000 subscribers, I didn't quite have 4,000 watch hours yet. So that's what kind of held me back a little bit is that I had the 1,000 subscribers. They stuck, right? I had 1,000. They stuck, but I didn't have the watch time. And so that's what you have to have as well. You have to have those watch hours. You have to have 4,000 watch hours, um, and then you're monetized, right? So I'm going to show you all that. But look, June 2019, let's go July 2019. Let's see if I hit it the following month. Let's go, let's go June. Let's go July. So July 1st, let's hit apply. That's what, my bad. 942. I still don't have it. I still don't have it. Let's freaking see. Let's. Look at this, dude. Look at this. July, August. Actually, my bad. Let's go to August. August 1st. Look at this, man. This ain't that long ago, you guys. This ain't that long ago. I finally get it. I finally hit a thousand. I close out that time period with a thousand and twenty-one. So now I hit the thousand subscriber threshold, but I still didn't have the watch hours at that time. I didn't have the watch hours until I want to say, let's say September, October. Yeah, until September. Until sep actually, yeah, it was in September because I ended up getting. It wasn't a full deposit because I didn't have a hundred dollar threshold. I didn't meet the one hundred dollar threshold. In order for you to get a pay a, a monthly paycheck, you have to hit a, a hundred dollars for the month, right? As I mentioned, but I didn't have a hundred dollars. But I know, but there was like forty bucks there, so I know I hit the four thousand watch hours. September. It was in September. So in September, let's hit apply. In September, a thousand sixty six is where I was at when I ended up hitting 4,000 watch hours as well. Look how long that took me, you guys. Look how long that took me. And you hear me over here talking about freaking an extra 300 a month. It's like, who in their right mind would even do that? That math doesn't even make sense. I'm going to keep it real, right? Like, it's like, who, it, like, you break that down. It's like, what am I making? Three cents an hour? You know what I mean? Like, if you really put things in perspective and do the actual math, but I'm, but I'm over here fired up, right? How does that even make sense? It makes sense to me because I understand residual income. I understand putting up a video one time and then being able to get paid on it over and over and over again. That's YouTube. Now, is it going to take some time to get there? Yes. Is it going to be hard work? Yes. Is it going to be easy? No. But is it going to be worth it? Hell yeah. Because that's residual income. It's going to take you time to build anything anyways. I don't give a shit what you're trying to do, man. Trying to be an author, it's going to take you some time to write that book. You trying to freaking make a hit song like Drake every week, that's going to take you some time, time to write the damn song. You trying to build a business, that's going to take you time. You trying to go to school and get your law degree, that's going to take you time. You trying to go to school and become a doctor, that's going to take you some time. No matter what the hell you do, it's going to take time. All I'm saying is that use a little bit of that time to talk about what you're fired up about and park it over here. Because even as you're just playing around with it, time is going to go by regardless. And if you could start seeing a check in 12 months from now, and that check can continue to snowball and increase every day, I'm here to tell you that will change anyone's life, okay? Especially if you're not in, in this country. If you're in another country, the Philippines, if you're in freaking Singapore, anywhere in Asia, if you're in Brazil... If you're in any of these countries, man, this money will change anyone's life. And I'm telling you, yeah, it might not be a full-time income right now, but if you can invest an hour or two on the side of your busy-ass schedule to go talk about what fires you up and park it here, that income, as it does, as it, as it, as it grows, I'm telling you, man, it will change your life. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. And, and that's residual income. You're over here producing the videos one time. You're investing your time. You're talking about what you're fired up about. 
okay? You're an accountant by day, but at night, you're fired up about freaking yoga, and you're talking about it on YouTube. I'm telling you, man, there's, a, there's an audience for it. Other people are interested in what you're interested in as well, and YouTube will start paying you for it, man. Invest your time in 2020. Talk about what you're excited about. And now I'm going to show you how, how I truly believe it started to, it started to snowball for, for me, right? So here's what happened, okay? Here's what happened. In September of 2019, which was not that long ago, I hit the 1,000 subscribers. I hit the 4,000 watch hours. And now today, I'm not that much higher than that. I'm at 1,460. But here's what started happening. Here's what started happening. I started getting little checks, okay? So let's go to, let's go to the actual analytics of, of the income. Because this is exactly, exactly how it broke down. And, 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 and I'm just getting started, man. I'm just getting started. But it's starting to grow, man. It's starting to grow. And that's what fires me up. So let me go to the, to the Creator Studio Classic. I hate this new version, but I'm going to have to get used to it because it is what it is. But let's go to um, the revenue real quick. Let's go to the revenue. So here's what my bank account is seeing, okay? Nothing crazy again, man. I'm just telling you, man. It's about to get crazy this year because I know, I, I truly believe I, 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 know that I know the damn code. But right now, I'm fired up over a few hundred, man. I'm fired up over a few hundred. Let's look at these analytics. We click on analytics. Um, Damn, is it taking me back to the new analytics? Man, I thought I can get around this damn freaking new version of it, but I'll show it to you in this. Okay. So here's what happened, man. Let's look at let's look at um let's look at lifetime. Let's look at lifetime. And then we scroll down and we look at revenue click on revenue and then we click on yeah it's right here okay perfect here's where it happened man here's where it happened this was 2019 september 2019 october 2019 november 2019 december 2019 so as i told you i became optimized i hit my 1000 subscribers i hit the 4000 watch hours around october of 2019 and then september is when that first is when that revenue that ad money started accumulating okay now but in, but but in september I didn't hit the $100 threshold. So that money sat. And to tell you the truth, what's so crazy is that I wasn't even paying attention to it. I didn't even know. I, I just knew that I was, I was way off and, and I just had to keep doing it. All I stayed focused on, you guys, I wasn't caught up in the details. I wasn't caught up on, on the analytics. I wasn't caught up on, on the how-tos, really. All I was doing was putting up content, putting up content, putting up content, just putting out videos like they were going out of style. That's what I started doing in 2019. And then obviously, I started learning the tags and the description and all that stuff and the, and the thumbnail. Um, but really, there wasn't re there's not really much to it. Um, but I didn't really start paying attention to that until this time, until, until October, until October, because here's what happened. In October, I ended up getting a check for the 248.48 plus the 4258. So that check of 291 came to me in, um, actually, you know what? It came to me, it came to me, let, let me do the math, because I think that was the, um, that was the 312. The 248.48, 248.48 plus the 42.58, that was 291. Okay, that was 291. That was 291 that was paid out in, 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 in November. That was paid out in November. So, so even though it says it right here, it's, 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 it's the next month. So what you do, what you do in September is paid out in October. What you do in October is paid out in November. This November, this 312 was paid out in December. This 3, 339 for the month of December is paid out in January. Okay, so that's why it looks this way. But the, the, the 42 and the 248 was my very first check, and that was paid in November. Okay. That was November 21st. I'll never forget it when I got that check. It was a day before my son's birthday, okay, where I got a check for 291. This 312 was what I did a video on a few days ago. That 312 was paid out in December. That's what I saw just this past December of 2019. Now look, what I'm about to see in in um 
in January. So what I'm about to see this month, January 2020, is 339.79. It keeps going up, man. It keeps going up. And what I'm going to see in February, I have no doubt, will be in the 500s. And who knows how crazy it exponentially grows from there because I truly believe this is increasing by little increments. But I know once a channel really takes off and I go from 1,400 subscribers to 7,000 subscribers, that's going to be growing by the hundreds per month. It's not going to be little, a few bucks here, a few bucks there, a little increase. This shit's going to be increasing by hundreds per month and even thousands. I'm going to be at 5,000 a month and all of a sudden the next month it's going to be 7,500. It's going to keep increasing and it's going to go by thousands eventually. My goal this year is to take this channel to 100,000 subscribers. So shout out to every single one of you, man. What I'm doing, you guys can do it too. All I'm thinking of is the investment. I'm willing to put up the time. I'm willing to put out the time. I'm willing to invest the hour here, hour there to talk about what I'm already fired up about and share it with you guys and eventually become monetized. That's what's going on over here, man. So these have been my YouTube checks. This was all the end of 2019. And so from, from the, the months that I showed you, I truly believe that it started to increase because of my consistency and because of the tags that I started using on these, di on these different videos. And staying on topic. So that's what you guys want to do, man. Number one, here's what I'm going to leave you with. Number one, pick your topic. Whatever you're fired up about, start talking about that. Okay. That's number one. Number two is you want to start putting out three videos every single week religiously. Okay. Like it was your religion. Okay. Three videos per week, no matter what. And that's what I'm going to do this year in 2020. I'm going to keep it simple. A lot of you guys that, are, that have been subscribed, you've seen me go on a blitz in December of 2019, and I put up a video every single freaking day. And that was to really kind of get the algorithm going and really see if it worked to my advantage, which I really haven't seen just yet. We're just January 1st, 2020. So I haven't really seen the fruits of that labor to see if it really, really you know, helped or not. But I know the magic number for most YouTubers are three a week, three a week, three a week. If you could put up three a week, that's 144 videos in a given year. That right there can explode someone's channel. So that's all I'm going to be doing this year, man, is I'm going to be putting up a new video, a, a, a video, a new, three new videos every week. I'm going to keep it that simple. And what I want you to, what I want to show you also is how you're going to be doing this. So let's, let's, let's see if I can, um, in fact, I don't know if I have any videos on my computer saved, but let me, let me see if I can, um, let me see if I do. So all you're going to do is you're going to come up here. You're going to hit this upload video right here, and you're going to upload the video. And what I plan on doing, just to kind of let you guys really know my, my, my strategy, is every Friday, again, I dropped a video yesterday talking about the top 10 tips to help you, you know, crush it in 2020. You got to have a schedule. On my schedule, my Fridays are meant for my YouTube videos. So all I'm doing, it's not like this is taking a lot of time out of my week. It's not. I'm literally going to delegate three hours on a Friday. Now, not everyone can do it. Choose your day, whether it's the weekends, whatever, man. Choose your day. Choose your time. Mine happens to be Friday afternoon from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. That's when I'm going to be producing three videos. And I'm going to schedule those videos to go out the following week. That's it. And, and, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to schedule them. So I'm not going to uh, publish them public live right away. I'm going to schedule them. But all you're going to do is come over here, hit that upload, and I don't have any videos like I thought I did. Yeah, I don't have any videos, but all you're going to do is you're going to choose that video, and then you're going to upload it, okay? And then in the tags, you're going to want to make sure you, you, you put tags. All the keywords should be keywords that you're doing research on. So if you're over here, and there's a few different plugins that you guys can download. Here's what I want you guys to install. Keywords everywhere. This is a free plugin. Get that one and then also get TubeBuddy, okay? They're free plugins. This is going to help you with the analytics. This is going to help you with the keywords. This is going to help you know what words to put in the tags, okay? Um, another way to, 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 to kind of know or kind of, you know, kind of gauge off of is let's say, for example, your topic was landing pages. Right here, landing pages, landing page design, landing, landing in London. Let's go landing pages. 
for beginners, landing pages that convert, landing pages for affiliate marketing, landing page tutorial. All of these different keywords are what you could start putting in the, in, in the keyword section of the video. So as you upload a video, you're going to put tags. Those are keywords. And those are going to be all words based on around that topic. Don't put different words. That's what I did in the, in the very beginning, 2017 into 2018, even in the beginning of 2019, I'm putting all these different words that have to do with online entrepreneurship that have to do with social media marketing, but we're very different than the video. So if I was doing a video on Facebook ads in my tags, I would have how to build a business online, how to make money online, how to start a business. I would have all these words that are somewhat in, in related, but not really. Like if I'm doing a Facebook ad video, a Facebook ad tutorial video, every keyword is going to be on Facebook ads, Facebook ads for beginners, Facebook ads that convert, Facebook ads, video ads, Facebook advertisement, how to run Facebook ads. Every keyword is around that exact topic. Okay. That was the game changer for me. Is when, once I learned that, I noticed that my videos were starting to get more views and more subscribers were starting to come around. Okay. Now also that's number one. It also, in the description, okay, now this is one thing that I've yet to do, and this is what I'll be doing as of now. In the description, what I did and what I've had is the same description in all of my videos, which are, which are the actual, now this is one where, where, this is one that I did yesterday, where I actually listed all this. This is what I'm saying. Here's the tip. The tip is that in here, and this is for Google SEO purposes, this right here is what you want to start doing. In your description, write what you're talking about in the video. So whatever the hell you're talking about, let that be also what you write out at the very top of the description, okay? What I did all of 2017 into 2018, even in 2019, I just kept the same default description because these are different you know, products that I got. Profit with Kartra Online, Digital Agency Blueprint, Digital Course Profits, FB Ads for Beginners, all of my social media links, right? That's what I use as my upload default, and I use that for all of them, which is totally fine, but that's all I would put. So on these 300 plus videos, it's, 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 just, it's just this damn, this, this bottom part. It's all of this just promoting what I got going on, right? And my social media links, obviously. But when it comes to the video, when it comes to the topic of the video, you want to talk about that in the description as well. And that's what I didn't do. So I got this far, you guys, without even putting the proper keywords. And in the description, you want to put keywords. So again, write in the description what the hell you're talking about in the video. And, and, and use TubeBuddy and keywords everywhere to help you with the keywords, to put, to, to, to kind of give you ideas on what keywords you should be putting in that description. This is what you want to start doing. And that's what I'll start doing from this day on is I'll start writing a few, a few, you know, fresh copy of what's going on in the video. I'll start putting that in, in the description, but I'm telling you, man, for 300 plus videos, I did not I did not And I know that that right there is a huge, huge part of your success on your YouTube channel is, is, is the keywords and the SEO and the description. That description needs to be talked about. You need to write a few sentences on what the hell you're talking about in the video. Okay. That's number two. Number one, actually let's start all over. Number one is the consistency. You got to be putting up three videos a week. Number two, you want to start putting the tags in the keywords. And as you upload, you'll see, you'll see all the different keywords. Th these are my keywords right here. These are actually, um, I think these are my keywords. Yeah. Or, or these are the ones that, that freaking let's, let's look, look, actually, you know what? I can just edit the video and I can show you right here. So number two is these keywords. All right. These keywords stay on the same exact topic of the video. Okay. So here's the title. Here's the description. You see me on, on yesterday's video. I wrote out the top 10 tips. Um, and then, and then there's my upload by default, right? The whole bottom part, but over here and then the thumbnail, you want to customize your thumbnail, get a cool thumbnail. I use Canva for the thumbnail. So you can come over here to Canva and this is all free, right? You come over here, you type in YouTube and you're looking for YouTube thumbnail. 
right there, YouTube thumbnail. You come over here, click on the blank one, and then you can come over here and there's so many different templates that you can use. You can upload your own or you can use all these different templates. This one's free. I can click on that one and I can use that one. In fact, I think that's the one I'm using now. That's my new template, but it's a different color but that and different image, obviously, but that's, that's the new one. And then look, upload, you come over here, get your picture, drag it over, and there becomes your thumbnail, okay? And then you title that thumbnail. This, the keywords, this is super important. How to run Facebook ads. You want to title that thumbnail for sure. That's super, super important as well. Save it. You're going to download it. That becomes your thumbnail, okay? That becomes your thumbnail. And then also it's down here. It's the tags. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. So this is what I wrote. These are the tags. How to make money, how to make more money, um, motivation. Let's, let's go motivation. And then as you, because I have TubeBuddy, all I do is I, I type in the keyword and it gives me suggestions. This is what I want for sure, right? I want this for sure. Um, tips to become a better marketer. See, and then it'll, it'll show you if that's even popular, which it's not. So tips to become a better person. Tips to become a better morning person. Now, it kind of doesn't have anything to do with it, but it, it kind of does, right? And if, and if it's down here, TubeBuddy has suggested it, then I'm thinking that it's a, it's a popular keyword. Again, man, how to, how to flirt, lose weight, um, New Year's resolutions, New Year's resolution. I'll put that, right? So all keywords that are somewhat related to the video and the topic of what I'm talking about, okay? So that right there, those are your tags, okay? So number one, consistent. Three videos per week is the minimum, and, and that's kind of the maximum. Delegate some time to go produce three videos of what you're fired up about. Number two, write out the description. You can have a default one, so I'll show you how to get to the default one. And, and because this right here, this is my default. It's not like I type this on every single video. This is what I have in the description of every single one of my videos. It's this whole highlighted part right here. But it's not like I type that on every video. Hell no. I, I, I upload it once, and then, and, then, and then YouTube automatically brings it over for every video that I put up um, from that point on. Now, if I record a video on my cell phone and I upload it to YouTube from my cell phone, that description, the default description is not going not gonna to come up. You're going to have to copy and paste it. But if you're, if you're doing a video like this on screen share on your computer and you're uploading the video from your computer up to YouTube, that description will come over if it's your default, which I'll show you how to, how to get there. Um, but it's really the top part. I want you to write out that top part, write out that description whatever the description, and it doesn't have to be crazy long at all, but you want keywords in here. You want to talk about what the video is all about, type it out, and then have, have your default one down here. Um, and, and that's what you want to do. Okay. And then the keywords download the, you, the thumbnail for sure. That's number three. And let's call the keywords number four. Um, and, and, and again, TubeBuddy and, um, and keywords everywhere will help you with the keywords for sure, okay? And a lot of you guys know how to use Google Keyword Planner. If you know how to use that, then for sure, go off of that as well. But that's all I've done, man. And that's all I've learned that other people have done. Um, and that's how they've blown up, man. So I'm telling you, man, I'm coming with some freaking ginormous goals in 2020. One huge goal, one huge goal is going to be freaking taking my channel from where it's at today, which is super, super small, right? But I'm, I'm already starting to see this money. Let's cancel out of that because I don't want to save that. Um, let's go to, let's leave. Well, that, what else was I going to show you guys? I was going to show you guys free. Oh yeah, the default, the default. So look at 1460, I'm calling it right now, man. I'm calling it right now. I'm putting it out in the universe. I'm going to be consistent. I'm going to put up these videos and I'm going to crush it. I'm going to take it from 1460 to 100,000 subscribers in 2020. I'm that committed. I'm going to be that consistent and it's freaking game time. And all I'm telling you, man, is that if my little channel right now is giving me a few hundred right now, that gets me fired up. Where do you think that monthly check's going to be when I'm at 100,000 subscribers? Where's that monthly check going to be when I'm at 10,000 subscribers? 
shit. That's 10xing where I'm at now. 10,000 subscribers, my life has completely changed financially. 50,000, 60,000, I'm calling it right now, man. I'm going to 100,000 subscribers in 2020. So shout out to every single one of you, man. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I'm, dro I'm dropping weekly content on social media marketing, affiliate marketing, and making money online. Shit that I'm actually doing every day. I'm in the trenches building an agency. I'm in the trenches producing online courses, making money on YouTube, making money with affiliate marketing. I am in the trenches closing deals every single day and all i'm doing is documenting and bringing value to those of you that are looking to do the same so shout out to every single one of you guys man i wish you nothing but major 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 success in 2020 here's the last part i'll leave you with and that's the default because you don't want to you don't want to bring over all that content all that copy for every single video so you want to write out your stuff right write out what you're going to keep as default for you know for generic purposes for every video like your social media links for example you know that's something you don't want to have to write on every description every single time so all you're going to do is you're going to hit the video manager like i just did click on settings and then you're going to come over here upload defaults and this right here you can write out this description okay you got 5000 characters write out this description and this re this remains the one that that comes over on every new video that you upload on your computer okay and if you didn't upload that video from your computer you did it on your cell phone upload it on your cell phone and then come over here to your computer and get it pretty all right copy it from here and then paste it on the new video okay because you're not gonna i don't think you're gonna i don't know that's that's how much i don't know i don't know if you can do it from your cell phone i haven't been able to so but again i haven't i, I, don't, I haven't even done i don't even know it all yet so i don't i don't do the title because i don't it's not the same title for every video right but this description these are all my products these are my social media links this remains the same i need this on every single video but now i'm all i'm telling you is that you can bring it over but also what i want you to do is hit enter a few times and write out a description write out what the hell that video is all about put some keywords in there get descriptive with it get detailed with it because that's going to help you with google seo and that's going to help youtube youtube's algorithm when it comes to getting your video shown by more people okay so that's what it is you guys that's where we're at in 2020 i'm just convinced that you guys can do the same thing if not even more and it really can be that simple so invest your time stop wasting your time and go out there and create an extra stream of income for you and your family. I'll see you guys on the next video over now.